newest Hulu outing from 20th Century Fox or 20th Century Studios, whichever one you want to choose, car starring the lovely as always Joey King, and you're taking Rapunzel and the story of princesses, but blended with action movie epitaxiness. But is it worth the blend? Let's get into it. <laughs> So the princess stars the lovely Joey King, Dominic Cooper, Olga Kurenliko, and Nigo Ton Van. And in this movie, we follow a strong-willed princess who refuses to wed a cruel sociopath. So she is kidnapped and locked in a remote tower. And with her scorned, vindictive suitor intent on taking her father's throne, the princess must protect her family and save the kingdom. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Joshua. I talk movies, TV, and music, and anime. If you like any of those things, consider hitting that subscribe button and hit that notification bell because it helps out with the channel algorithm and it helps you get notified when more future videos are up. I got a lot more videos coming. I got a lot more content planned, especially as we head into the beginning of this month in August. So stick around for that. And also, it does help my channel grow, and I am on the verge to trying to get to 2,000 subscribers. So, if you guys help me out, we can make it happen. When it comes to The Princess, this was a movie that I w wasn't really sure what to think of it. I liked the concept and everything, but when I saw the first initial trailer, I was just thinking, oh no, this doesn't look very interesting at all it looks pretty bland it looks pretty dumb and it just looks a little bit too over the top for my taste i like joey keen i like some of the other cast members and this is a director i've never heard of and i like the idea of taking princesses and action movies and making it into a blend and i like when you're able to when filmmakers are able to do genre blending type of movies i always like that kind of thing for better and worse this was going straight to hulu and after seeing this, I don't understand why this went straight to Hulu. I, I'm not saying this is the greatest movie ever, but I can definitely sit here and say I had fun with this. I like a girl in lace. Starting off with the positives, as always, Joey Keane. I, this is an actress, she's been around for a very long time in the acting game. She's been around ever since she was a child with stuff like Ramona and Beezus and even stuff like White House Down and even as a younger Talia, I'll go into Dark Knight Rises. In this movie, she you can tell she's older now. She's done more movies like The Conjuring and The Kissing Booth and Battle of Los Angeles, Oz Great and Powerful. She is a very capable, potential worthy actress. She is also having another movie come out in August called Bullet Train, which I'm looking forward to. And while I thought the in-between was okay, I thought she was one of the better parts of this movie, but she does great as a princess. She is reliable, she's likable, she is strong-willed, you do have the determination. They never will have to pull an agenda to, to put down men. Basically, she is someone who does not want to be married to a sociopath, and you do see why she doesn't want to do it. She's willing to take the throne from the sociopath and fight for her family's throne. She's badass in the world, her hands dirty with the action scenes, and she is not a Mary Sue. She bleeds. She gets hurt. So I also like the performances of the other actors. Dominic Cooper, I think he's fine as Julius, the sociopath. You also have Olga Kurenlinko here, who I've always enjoyed as an actress. Even for Hitman, she's really good here. You have Veronica Go as a character, Lynn, and Martin Taskov and Errol Avakov, they also do a good job. So, so for the budget this movie has, even though I'm not sure if this was supposed to be a theatrical release or not, I definitely see the money is on screen. The castle, the production design of the way the castle looks and the way locations are and the rooms of the castle is, you definitely feel not in front of a it's not a whole lot of green screen either. This is actual real locations, real sets, and 
you do feel that cinematic feel here and I definitely do appreciate the effort that Hulu and 20th Century Studios wanted to do. I also very much like the production design, the costumes, and for the makeup departments, I definitely have to give them a lot of credit for taking the chance this look authentic as possible and look very historical as possible is very cool is very creative and i like the blend of princess movie and action movie you're getting a little vibes of die hard a little bit of the raid and i definitely do feel that this is a hard r is not pg-13 they do not shy away from the bloody violence or the language it this is full r to the max and you definitely feel the R brutalness in the action scenes, especially with Jerry King gets her hands dirty. So the action scenes, some of it, the way they shoot it, there is a little bit too much speed to camera, like high frame rate. But oh, the action, this director, she knows how to shoot action. You can see what's going on. It's not quick cuts. It's not cut to death 145 different cuts. The cinematography and the score is very fun and whimsical to listen to i do like the score and i do like the way the movie is shot it has a nice color palette to it and it's an hour and 34 minutes it gets you straight in and it gets you straight out and that's the job of the movie it need it did it and if you're doing your job right you are earning my respect and there are some people of course who it is it knows exactly what it is it's campy it's silly it's goofy is stupid and it does have a lot of stupid violent antics and while there's not a whole lot of blood in the movie which think what the violence you get is great nevertheless and there are some funny lines here that I do like so I definitely do enjoy it and the period they it looks accurate I'm, I appreciate the accuracy in the time period just stuff like this and the norman and the green knight with medieval stuff it just makes me miss the medieval epics more especially having seen other medieval epics and epic films from the 50s like the magic carpet it makes you miss that unfortunately this is not a perfect movie like i said the doc th this movie it does know what it is and for some people the silly nature and the over the topness is going to take some people out of it and i do think while it points while there could have been a little bit more violent blood i'm happy with the blood that we got because it's not gonna be hardcore nc-17 you don't want that so i definitely do appreciate the fact that they do have There's also some moments in the script where there is a few spots of dialogue that is comes off as a little goofy and a little bit like into Sharknado territory where it feels like it's overly cheesy. When you get to the main sociopath, I don't really like his motivation here. Trying to take the throne from Joey Keen, I think that in itself does not play out as well on his part as it is set up here. I do like the concept, I do like the execution of it, but I just don't think it didn't really justify anything on his side. Hey, my last negative here, this is not going to be, this isn't really a negative, like I said, it is a little bit too much high frame rate into the action scenes. It's a little nitpick, I do wish they could scale back just a little bit on the high frame rate, but it's, it's seizure inducing. You can still see the action plenty for action that gets violent and at the end of the day i walked away satisfied with a decent enough time but all in all guys is this a movie that's going to win awards no while is this a gr the greatest movie ever made absolutely not but is it very self-aware very silly and goofy at times yes i do like the die hard and the raid action-esque idea of a princess fighting for her throne there is some decent action it's capable direction and you have a capable performance from joey king that makes this one of the better surprises of 2022 so if you have hulu i would suggest checking this out it, it is worth your watch just know who you are getting into this taking the fact that this is going to be a very silly 
but violent and goofy entertaining princess movie a little take on the Rapunzel story with some action and I think you'll have a fun time with it I enjoyed it for myself I can't speak for everyone else but don't look, listen to any critic scores online go into the movie and judge it on your own opinions and I think you will enjoy it this is definitely one of the better movies and I am definitely gonna say you could stream this thing I had a fun time with it so that concludes my review of the princess I'm gonna leave a link in the playlist to uh, my, more of my reviews on the channel I will also leave a playlist for recent playlist with the review in the Jurassic Park movie Just subscribe to the channel yeah, comment in the comment section down below what you guys think of this did you like it do you hate it are you somewhere right in the middle all my social media links description box down below as well as my cash app if you want to send money to it as well as you like to send anything from Amazon wishlist you can do that as well my address is also down there in the description box down below so that way you can send stuff as always stay up fantastic join the epitastinus and you guys keep it cool